Hey, what's going on, people? Back at again, like I always say, back like we never left, sending positive vibes your way. Today, I'm excited for today's video because it's the SOAR 2023 Awards that just happened recently, and I heard that Kier was honored. She's one of the tributees. Maybe, I don't know if that's the word, tributees. Hmm, maybe. And I heard that Karen did one tribute to her, and she sung something that's the break. So that's today's reaction video. I'm super excited about it. Prayerfully, they do a lot better job than what happened last year in 2022. Because I feel like when Dorinda was honored, I don't feel like everybody came with their best. I mean, the vocals were not great. The arrangements were cool. I feel like people didn't get 110 percent and they kind of like snuffed her. It was just like, what? What was? What is this? So prayerfully, it's a lot better this year. I haven't watched the full 2023 awards this year, but prayerfully, it's a lot better because they deserve the best. You know what I'm saying? Your vocals have to be there and everything else. So I just feel like they didn't give her top tier as she, as much as she gives us top tier up until like she came and did like a sermonette. It was preaching and singing and stuff. Minus maybe one or two people, but the rest of them was like, mm. so prayerfully, this is better, but. It's gonna be better because this is Karen seeing something that's the break and honoring her. So I'm super excited. Let me stop talking. I'm getting to today's video. Yeah. Huh. I'm going to cry. Right oh, now. she said, sing, mommy. Because I'm so godly proud. Mm. Of what God gave me. And my husband, Bishop Sheer. Kiara, I'm so proud of you. You've made your mom and dad since you sang on that first record. Oh my goodness, you shocked me. And I want you to know you are my dream daughter of what I pray for. You're my princess. I couldn't have asked for any wonderful daughter like you. So proud of you. You've grown up to be a, a superstar yes. in the eyes of God. And your grandmother, you're taking the legacy on. Your grandmother, Dr. Maddie Moss Clark, would be so proud of you, of how you continue in the legacy. So I hope I do this song justice. Um, I can't sing it like you, baby girl, but I'm gonna try to do what I can. On safest place, I told you to do what I, I, I don't know if I should have done that, made something, but I'm gonna try to do what I can. I love you, baby. Oh, that's so sweet. So proud of you. So proud of you. <laughs> Feel it in this room, Holy Spirit move, cause when you have your way, something has to break, tear down every lie, set the wrong things right, cause when you have your way oh something has to break something has to break something has to break right now in your You will. 
that was so wow that's so interesting i have so many different thoughts about this performance it was very emotional very sentimental very heartfelt i love i love how honored karen was and proud of kiera she is and she just shared that on behalf of her and bishop and even more so it's like it's so different i think because traditionally like you hear karen's music it's difficult one but to hear like her do something has to break too it makes me wonder is like is this is something has to break like a kiera only type of song like it's because like Karen's delivery and Kiera's delivery are different. Karen did it her own way, and we're not comparing the two in this moment. But I'm simply saying that it's just like, it, that's one of those songs where it's just like, I feel like only Kiera can really sing it the right way. You know, like someone in the same way that, you know, only Karen could do like Bob McGilly and do it justice. But even Karen doing it and trying to, you know, bring the same level of fervor and stuff for Kiera is like, it's interesting. Cause you know, it's usually the opposite. Like, mommy, I don't know if I could do it like you, but I'm gonna try and like to see the roles reverse. And that like, this is a very hard song to sing, I think something has to break. To be able to deliver it, to drive it the way that it's driven, and to, to deliver the way that Kiera does it with her intercession at the end, and just the worship and the conviction and stuff, it's not impossible, but it's challenging. And then even Karen was partially um, hoarse. Well, not necessarily hoarse, but her, she, her voice wasn't as rested. And so she did what she could, and it was amazing. You know, the runs, the wind up. You know, on some of the other parts, it was very, very good. And just the echoes and everything. And I know sometimes like they forget the words being the Clark sisters, but I was just like, wow, that's really interesting. And I never thought about it until this moment, like maybe something has to break his key error is difficult, most challenging song. You know, as far as like, cause to, again, to drive this song, the emotion that it takes to sing this song, the stamina it takes to sing this song. Something has to break, you know, like, and then the pro time about she gets to the end, and it's just like that whole stint. Is I speak the word of God, no weapon formed against me shall be able to prosper. I come against every dark scheme. I declare in my bloodline that it will break. I declare over my home that it will break. I declare over my legacy that it will break. Mm, it's incomparable, but I love that she honored her and she selected this song because Kira has so many different songs that she could have chosen But she did something that's the break that she did with her daughter or her mom in this instance and vice versa And Karen chose to do that to honor Kiera And even she mentioned at the beginning like maybe I shouldn't have made you sing at nine because she didn't created this vocal situation On safest place. I told you to do what I, I, I don't know if I should have done that made something but I'm gonna try to do what I can. I love you, baby. So proud of you. But so proud of her and just Kiki has grown leaps and bounds and she's just definitely a superstar in the eyes of God and then the eyes of her fans like us. So, so elated, that was so good to me. So good to me. And then Karen was just, Karen is doing good. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. I mean, it makes me wonder, like, what song would Dorinda choose 
if Dorinda was to honor Kiera, what song would she choose to sing? It's interesting. Maybe my Redeemer lives? I don't know. Oh wow, that was very heartfelt. And even Karen was in her emotional bag, you could just tell it. But she's 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 fantastic using her voice, even though her voice may not be there hundred percent. She has mastered her instrument to be able to give us what needs to be given. And I appreciate that about her and just about Kier. And I know Kier felt it, the audience felt it, they worshiped, they were happy, crying and all stuff. So that was fantastic. If you got another video you want me to react to, comment below and drop the links so I know which video you're talking about. Hit the bell so you know when the next video is coming. You know, don't give it because life does get better. And as you've heard them saying, something has to break right now in Jesus' name. I pray that whatever it is that's been holding you back, whatever it is, has been trying to keep you hostage and prevent you from moving forward. I pray that it'll be broken off of your life. I pray that any plan or scheme that the enemy has for you, that no weapon formed against you would prosper. I pray that every weapon become deformed in the name of Jesus, that it becomes aimless and ineffective, that it misses its target, that it can't locate you in the realm of the spirit or the natural. I pray that God will be your strong tower and your safe refuge that you can run into and be safe. I pray that you are hidden under his wings. I pray that you are hidden in the presence of the Lord, I pray that your enemies cannot locate you. I pray that God delivers you. I pray that God arises from his rest to defend you. I pray that God works on your behalf, that he's holding you up with his righteous right hand, that you will have no reason to fear, neither to fret, but you will be anchored and girded in the truth that God is with you, that God is accompanying you, and that his righteous hand is with you. Hallelujah. And everything that you do, I pray that God will continue to bless you, to expand you, to give you a future and a hope that will continue to exceed your expectation. I pray pray that he would anchor you in his spirit and that you would feel the love of God every single day thereafter henceforth. I pray that every word that has been spoken over your life will come to pass and it will come to fruition and it came to pass in the name of Jesus. I plead and apply the blood over you, those connected to you, that you are safe from all maladies, ailments, sicknesses, diseases, cancers, heartaches, heartbreaks unnecessarily and everything else. And I pray that God will be with you in all that you do in Jesus name. Amen. So until next time, you guys, I'm going to talk to y'all later. Peace.